card players what is gucci in the booty i am wolfgang one fourth of team starwin and we are back with another dual video and it looks like saul my good friend good buddy and a member of team limit break us did not like his hand so he got a quick mulligan in he is on the right and another one of our good friends harry aka wook or as I like to call him, Quok, because that's how his name is spelled. Good buddy of mine. He is on the left, and this is a fight to the death right here. A serious duel, um, and they both start off pretty strong with their two drop backups. Saul, he's basically the Earth player, or another Earth player, because I'm also an Earth player. I just like to branch around a bit. But um, he's like an Earth player to through and through. He loves playing Earth, so nine times out of ten, you'll see him with Earth with some kind of Earth variation. Um, and Quok... He likes to play ice, some kind of ice variation, mono ice or or ice mixed with something else, but you're going to see ice in there. And I believe both of these guys are playing um, mono versions of their respective favorite colors. So this is going to be an interesting duel because a lot of times Earth does really well against ice because of their brave and um, non, uh, like guy and cards like guy and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. But Quark just had a super power play. Like he just went all out on his second turn. Turn one. They both play a backup. Turn two, Quark, um, he taps one uh, and dumps a card to play uh, Renoa and then and dumps another one to play um, to play Bard for another backup. Um, and so Saul, on his turn, he said, all right, well, you know what? You're doing power plays. I'm going to do a power play too. He, he uh, discards a Kefka, which we, yo, dude, we needed Kefka. Like, I love Kefka. Kefka is one of my favorite Earth Opus 4 cards. Might even be one of my favorite Opus 4 cards, period. Kefka is so good. And to all my Yu-Gi-Oh players, it's basically, essentially, a Zaborg. I mean, he is Zaborg, right? Comes through, comes down, and just breaks somebody. Just, that card is so good. And he dumps a Hekka, which, eh, I'm not, like, the hugest fan of Hekka. Just, like, I never really liked the card. Like, if it was a two-drop that did what it does, it'd be much better, in my opinion. But it being a three-drop, I just feel like it's too much. It's, that's too much, man. It's too much, man. It's too much. But um, he drops those two to play, uh, I don't know how to say his name, Dada Lamalu, Daddy La. I just, I call him Big Daddy. That's what I call him. That's what I'm going to be calling him the rest of this video or for as long as he's on the field because that's his name to me, Big Daddy. Um, so he dumps two, plays Big Daddy, and uh, passes turn on to, to Quok. So let's see what Quok does with his turn. Uh, looks like he's doing some debating and contemplating right now. Taps one. Taps one. Pitches Cannoneer to play the pump. Uh, so now Renoa is at 1K, and every other ice forward he plays will be plus 1K. I said Renoa's at 1K. Renoa's at 8K, and every other ice forward he plays will be plus 1K. And he, he swung. No. He swings. He's going for the clash. Okay. Wow. Interesting. I Normally. Oh, dang, dude. I felt that in my heart. I felt that in my I mean he's an earth player though. You gotta if he's got a forward on the field and he's got that one lone um pack up on the field, um, you gotta kinda think that there's a golem gonna that's gonna be behind it. And when you're blocking, when you're blocking to play golem, dude. I mean, that is just unfortunate because they get that plus four K. And it's a Renoa that died too. That just sucks. Um, okay, so then Saul, he did the smart play, swing before he did anything else. He swings, he throws a point of damage, hits the snow, um, and then he plays um, Black Mage, which sucks for um, for Quok because, <laughs> dude, <laughs> he plays another Renoa. Quok taps three, plays another Renoa, which is unfortunate because Black Mage's ability completely, basically, completely nullifies no um, Renoa's ability for one forward, for one forward. Um, but this means that he could potentially clash with oh no the clash wouldn't make sense oh okay there it goes so he play he dumps two or he taps uh ninja dumps an atomos to play and across um now daddy is at is at a 9k and swings right over renoa he quok chooses not to block with the renoa and big daddy gets through for that second point of damage hitting a ghoul so let's see what Quark decides to do. He's, he's going to swing with his Renoa. Okay. For the point of... 
Oh my, dude, that was, <laughs> dude, that was crazy. Look, Saul's even doing a dance. <laughs> he like, he flipped the card over as if he, he was like, yeah, this is going to be an EX burst and hits the Opus 4 6 drop um, Atomos, which has EX burst to either do 8,000 damage to a forward or um, kill um, a dull forward. So that's unfortunate. Renoa gets cracked off, which that, that, that sucks. That's painful. Um, and then he summons one drop snow and then taps two to play a sage or another bard I kind of miss which one he played, but he does play another backup and that big daddy swings through again for um, for th the third point of damage um, And okay, and Saul taps in across to play magic pot, which I like that card. That card is really really good um, There's there's just so many uh, so many combos and battle tricks and just a lot of fun You can have with magic pot a lot of people call the card underwhelming um, but I don't know. I don't think it's underwhelming. Like I think it's just as good as it reads, just as good as I thought it was when it when I first read it, or you know when it first got leaked or spoiled or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm a, I'm just a big fan of Magic Pot. But let's see, let's see. Quark taps two, dumps a Zalera to play Mecha Chocobo, which I don't think I've seen it much play. Um, when I first read that card, I was like, oh my god, that card is so broken, why? But um, I haven't seen it being played much. Um, and um, I guess it's not as broken as I originally had thought it was. Um, I run three of them. Oh, no, no, I don't run three. I have three of them, but I haven't used it myself yet. But at the same time, I'm also not the hugest fan of ice. So um, that's why I haven't run it yet. But I don't know. I might give it a go, give it a try, see what I can do with it. It does read like a broken card, but it looks like there's some disc. Oh, right, right, right. I remember they actually called me over for this play. Um, it's because one drop snow reads when it's when it attacks, you have to dull. You have to dull a forward, and it doesn't specify on your opponent's side of the field. So if he was to swing with snow, he would have to dull his Mecha Chocobo. Actually, he'd have to. You no, know, he could just. He couldn't. He just choose snow. I think he could. He could have just chosen snow. I have to kind of I have to read snow again to like freshen up on his ability but um, yeah um, we, we we basically came to the conclusion that he's gonna have to dull one of his forwards that's pretty much what it was I just don't remember if you can if snow can choose himself or not maybe that's just something Quark didn't think about because Quark uh, just decided to go ahead and pass turn um, so let's see what Saul does um, he taps two and summon. No, oh, no, can't do that. And brings Rob onto the field. Um, wait. He taps two. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Saul didn't pitch one. He only paid two for the Rob on. He was supposed to. He, he was supposed to tap two and pitch a card, but it looks like he only tapped two and forgot to pitch. Missed. It kind of a misplay I don't know miss I guess both it was missed on both parties but yeah he tapped two, played the raw on but I see the play he wanted to make um, or he is making actually this is this is a really really good play um, he 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 summons raw on targets a forward with raw on then activates magic pot on raw on to bring out another raw on to destroy his other forward which is bonkers to me because when I first read raw on I was like dude why they do raw on like that like you might as well not even made it a card but Saul like after having talks with Saul he kind of made it made sense to me like he kind of you know you kind of basically look at a card that doesn't destroy itself but it acts like uh it's kind of like a summon like it's kind of like for my Yu-Gi-Oh players once again Yu-Gi-Oh is my original game like I I started playing TCGs playing Yu-Gi-Oh um, and it, it's exile force. That's basically what it is. That's all he is. It's exile force. So you got to kind of work around that and use the game's rules to put that card uh, to use that card's ability to your advantage. Um, and he did that with Magic Pot, being able to take out two of Quark's forwards and swinging again with Big Daddy. Big Daddy got four points of damage right now. He's straight up camping. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Big Daddy's camping with a kill streak of four. <laughs> he ain't playing games, man. He is still on the board. This is interesting. Very, very funny. Uh, it looks like Quack just cannot get around Big Daddy being on the field. He's lacking the he's lacking the necessary Destro or forwards. Is looking like he, uh, Quack hasn't played many forwards or any summons. Actually, I haven't seen him play not one summon. 
but let's see what Quark decides to do. He taps to, um, and he's doing some baiting, debating, contemplating. Taps two, ditches a vein to play Mecha Chocobo. Um, yep, Mecha Chocobo is at 8k. Mm, excuse me. Mm, excuse me again. Sorry about that. But he looks like he's doing some more debate and contemplating. He's got two upright backups. He's going to tap them. No, yes, yes, no, maybe so, kind of, sort of. Nope, he's just going to pass turn. Back on to Saul. And let's see what Saul does with his turn. Uh, he taps two. Taps four. No, taps two. Pitches. He's doing some debating. All right, while he's doing that, I'm going to take a sip of this agua. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. So he taps two, pitches a magic pot, and plays the backup Rob on to use Rob... To use Rob to make daddy kill um, Mecha Chocobo through Rawbon and swings through for another point of damage and Big Daddy's Big Daddy's uh, kill streak just went up to five. All five points of damage dealt to Quark have been straight through Big Daddy. This is just crazy, dude. Straight up bonkers. Um, and then, oh, and then he summons uh, Ice's worst enemy, Guy, who cannot be dulled and does not dull because he has Brave. So it's just, this is not looking good for Quok. Dang. And it's it's crazy because that one point of damage that Quok actually got was Atomos and it destroyed the creature that attacked, which happened to be Renoa. <laughs> All right, that's pretty, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, he summons Renoa and passes turn. So let's see what Saul does. Oh, Saul has, Saul has a Hekka in hand. So he can, um, oh, and he's got Black Mage. Yup, act, you activate the Black Mage. Now he can't, now da Big Daddy can't be dulled by abilities. So now all you do is just tap two and Guy can't be dulled by abilities. Tap two, activate the Hekka on the Renoa. Renoa does absolutely nothing. She's only at AK, she dies. And he swings through for best in the game. Good game. Um, that's going to do it for the duel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.